Hello everyone, I'm Ivan and today I'm going to explore the potential of the light mix in Corona Render. Basically, we will see how with a single render we can end up with a lot of different light scenarios and skies. Here we can see a scene based on Princeton Hall residency designed by speeched architects. First, click on the play button here to initiate interactive render. Nothing will appear because we don't have any lights in the scene. If we navigate to the sun icon in the Corona toolbar with click, hold and drag, we can create the sun. When we release and move the mouse, the sun height will be specified. To add sky and overall light from it, click on the settings and add Corona sky. It already looks nice, but I will play with the sun position to achieve interesting shadows. Now, we are going to store the sky texture in order to use it later on with the light mix. To do that, open the material editor. Then, click on the render settings to find environment or just click 8. From here, drag and drop the texture from the environment to the material editor. It should be copied as an instance. Let's add an HDRI texture. Right click, choose textures, Corona, Corona bitmap. Choose the texture you have downloaded. Basically, HDRI is a specific image, usually 360 degree, that will be wrapped around the whole scene. The intensity and the color of the lighting will be based on that image and it will serve as a background as well. No doubt, it may sound too complex, it is a very easy to use. In the description below, you will find a link to free HDR textures. To use it, open the rendering settings and go to the scene tab. In the scene environment, you will see that currently the 3ds Max environment is used and here is stored the Corona Sky. If we click on the single texture, we can add the HDRI image. Let's do it. I like the result, but as I mentioned, the HDRI lighting is calculated based on the image and the direct light comes from the sun on the HDRI. On the other hand, we already created a sun and it comes from a different direction. To avoid that two suns effect, I will just disable the sun for now. Let's see the HDRI texture settings. From the environment position, we can horizontally rotate the texture and achieve different results. When we set the rotation of the first image, we can move on and add another one. To do that, I will just click on the texture, hold shift and drag. Then I will load another HDRI. Thus, I can preserve the previous one in the material editor. This one is darker, so I can easily go to the post tab and increase the exposure. I will add a few more HDRs here. The last one is a night HDRI, so I will need to add artificial lights. Go to the Create tab here and click on the lights, then on the Corona light. Now click on the viewport, hold and drag. You will notice that the sphere itself is not visible. If we pay attention to the light settings, you will notice that the option visible in the reflections and refractions are disabled. By default, these settings will be enabled and the light source will be visible. Although this is not the most accurate way to lit interior, it is a good way to create interior lighting as a base and then, if you want, you can add lights in the lamps. Also, keep in mind that if we want to control all of the copied lights, they need to be copied as an instance. In the same way, I have already added some artificial lights. Now, it's time to add all of the environment textures in one place to be rendered simultaneously. Stop the interactive render and open the render settings and the material editor where our textures are prepared. Now, in the scene environment, click on multiple maps. Then, click on the slot. 
type the desired number of textures to add slots. Link all the textures with the slots as instances. Don't forget to enable the sun in order to be listed in the light mix. Then click Setup Light Mix. A window will pop up. Make sure that Instance Set Lights is chosen and click Generate. This will generate all the needed render elements for the light mix automatically. Finally, increase the resolution and then click Render. After a few minutes, let's see the result. You will notice that everything is very bright. That is because we have added a lot of HDR textures. Let's click on the tools and navigate to the light mix. Here are listed all the lights. To show you how it works, I will disable most of them. Leave the sun and enable the first light. It is the sky as we linked it with the first slot. So now we have the sun and sky lighting. So we can tweak the post and save the image. Then disable the sky and the sun. Try with the next one. It is the first HDRI we have added. I like it. That one is too dark and we can increase the exposure from the post, but it's not my favorite choice. Here are the night versions and they need artificial lights, so let's enable them. Another great thing is that we can change the intensity of each light and the core. Thus, we can make a lot of different effects depending on our goals. But that's not all. We can also blend different HDRs for additional variety. Here, we can add moonlight using the sun. Just decrease the intensity and change the core to blue. Now that we saw how to use multiple HDRIs in our workflow, you can render a lot of images at once and make different combinations between them. Let me know in the comments below if that video was helpful for you and what you want me to show you next time. Also, you can subscribe for more content and check my other videos.